Hello, welcome to Live Universe Mind. I'm Robinson Arevalo. In this video, I will be talking about intuition. That natural gift that we human beings have that requires courage. Intuition is the language of our inner guide that is directly connected with God or with the universe because it's part of our inner echo or resonance that is connected to our cosmic mind. Stay with us for a few long minutes and we learn how to awaken intuition. I will give you exercise so that we can develop it and well so that you know how to guide your life with that wonderful gift that we all have. Before starting, I would like to like uh, this video, subscribe for free and share it with your friends to create the new network of awakening of conscience and comment below. The most important thing to develop an intuition is not to have low self-esteem because this low vibration of the mind and emotions will not allow you to act on your intuitive impulses. Since fears will not let the wave of perception be active. For intuition to work, we must be optimistic, positive, and full of dreams, which will greatly help us to have the courage and personal power to carry out the orientation that we will receive as a guide to our interior life. Before continuing, I would like you to quickly answer this questionnaire that prepares to know how brave you are to follow your intuition. So, allow your mind to wander in these questions. What attitude do you have in life in general? What happened to you when setbacks happen? What are you afraid of life? Do you consider life is a punishment, an obligation, or a routine? Do you take risks or surprises in your life? Do decisions block or annoy you? What things are you failing to do in your life because of your fear? Intuition is generally trying to follow the herbage that we feel exciting or the impulse to do something which often requires courage or our on our part intuition doesn't always require the easiest way and that everything will come out magically since everything depends on how you are vibrating positively or negatively if we don't believe we're worthy, I will think that nothing works for us. If we consider that nothing positive happens in our life, or we believe that we're victims of life, surely intuition isn't going to be clear and good, and intuition will be without answers. And the answer will not be true. Well, we're going to see the ways of how to put that intuition active and the ways of how to develop it. But you have to practice. If not, it doesn't work and we'll be left with only the we call hunches. The inner voice has to invite us to live experiences that are definitely part of our destiny and that are basically part of the expansion of our consciousness. We must not confuse intuition with our prophetic capacity 
or with predicting the future, not to avoid a financial loss or a painful relationship. That is part of self-love and the degree of knowledge you have regarding what you do. Being clear on this, intuition is actually the ability to use energy information to make decisions when it's really needed. That energy is the emotions, the physical part and the spiritual development that we have. Deep down there, the components of there or here and how it that mental connection that we have with the present. Intuition occurs between the mind and the unconscious of much accumulated information at the bottom, it's a fast track in the way the brain works, completely natural. So the first thing we should do is don't force, keep in mind that those spark of inspiration can be, cannot be forced. There's no way to resort to it when you feel like it. It only comes naturally when you need it. As a danger, tension is a sign or you perceive that you will find what you are looking for or that person you long to see, listen to your inner voice. Bala said that when faced with a difficult decision, it was best to throw a coin. When the coin was in the air, suddenly we want it to fall in on one side, and that is the hard decisions. Deep down is the connection with the reality that we seek to happen in our life. Intuitive people are those who stop to listen to those decisions and respect them. Take time to be alone. To listen to the decision of the heart or what the unconscious want to tell us, it's important to be alone at least one time a day. Have a moment a day to get away from the phone, computer, and television. Stimulate your creativity. Creativity and intuition are closely linked. Having an open and curious attitude Towers life is not a matter of forcing intuition. As I've said before, but we do need to have a receptive and open attitude toward the mysteries of life. Meditate. I think it's one of the best ways to awaken intuition and the self-knowledge that come in, comes through meditation which is essential to develop a more perceptive vision of yourself, others and the world. Become observant. Intuition isn't a supernatural gift, but intuitive people are more perceptive and that has a lot to do with being observant. To become more observant, you can start keeping a diary in which you record things that are surprising, novel or strange to you. Little by little, you will begin to find coincidences, surprising connection with precise intuition or your daily life. Listen to your body. The body, mind, and soul are one whole. Listening to the heart and the unconscious must be accompanied by listening to the body, which give us messages that we may be ignoring, connected deeply with others. Intuition is linked to empathy, which is the ability to put yourself in the other's place. Take time, observe and listen to others face to face to understand your loved ones and everyone around you, adding this part of mystery to everyday life not only makes it more fascinating but also favors the strengthening of intuition. 
because play creativity and willingness to see a typical connection between things world or right hemisphere which is the intuitive side of the brain surprise yourself look at the usual things in a new way play a little and the intuition will awaken pay attention to your dreams dreams are the key to communicate with unconscious processes you can read about dreams and thus begin to find meaning that help you connect with a different perception take time to relax constant work that drains the brain and doing multiple things and once are two things that ruin any other effort to become more intuitive although we all have intuitive knowledge only in moments of relaxation can we connect with them let go of negative emotion emotion like uh, like anger or frustration include uh, intuition letting them go however is as simple as aligning with the teeth about as a relaxed creative and meditative person is more likely to control their anger Intuition is the vital guide that semi-automatically help us make good decisions, solve problems, and be more successful in practically any area of life. To improve your intuitive skills, you should start by giving them a certain credibility, enough to at least take into account the hunches you have on a daily basis. Let's pause just to ask you, like this video, subscribe for free, and share this video with your friends to create the network of awakening of conscience and comment below. Intuition cannot be confused with prejudices, which are actually preconceived ideas that make us have a certain aversion towards certain people due to their ethnic, religious, cultural, or social origin, or for some other feature or their physique. A curious technique that you can use in the visualization of landscapes. There is several very powerful techniques for developing intuition. One of them is visualization. How does it work? First, you must close your eyes and focus on your breathing. Sit in and try to find a nice space. Try to visualize a landscape that transmits security or good vibration. Observe it carefully and try to repay all the exciting details. The air, the aromas, the color, the details, keeping your memory all the possible details. Breath slowly and deeply and open your eyes again. You will certainly notice that you feel much more comfortable. And in addition, you will have improved your intuition, especially if you practice this technique regularly. Visualization with geometric bodies allow us to stimulate our visual or special intelligence which is also related to our creativity. The technique is as follows. Close your eyes and imagine white screen right in front of you. Try to project, imagine that on that screen a two-dimensional geometric body appears, such as a square or a circle or a triangle. Maintain the visual image for two minutes and then go on to imagine any other figure. Rest for a few minutes and then close your eyes again. Imagine several figures combined with each other. For example, a square within a circle. He sees the exercise become more complex with other bodies. A square within a circle that is in turn surrounded by an immense triangle, develop empathy and practice. 
Develop empathy and practice is that quality through which we can put ourselves in another person's place, understanding and solidarity with their circumstances and opinions. Intuition is also born with, from this ability to correctly interpret the emotion and feelings of others. You can practice this skill by trying to intuit what other people are thinking or feeling in you have enough confidence with them. You can ask them if you were right. You will be surprised at how readily intuitive it's to guess someone's mood. I think I have given you enough information that you can develop that great gift that we all have, such as intuition. With discipline and positive attitude, I will surely be achieved. I'm Robinson Arevalo. Thank you for watching Vida Universalmente. I wait for you in the next program with another interesting topic so that we continue to grow. Remember to like this video, subscribe for free, and share this video with your friend to create the network of awakening of conscience. Until next video.